Hey folks, it's me, Ali. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys to uh, answer a question that come up online about the definition of the term estimated working length. So let's take a quick look at this concept. All right, so I got my coffee at hand heading out to the office. Got a long day ahead of me. I figured I'll do a quick response to a question that I come up online about the meaning of estimated working length. Now, estimated working length is not a term that you can probably find out in the uh, literature. It's a term that I have used in the past uh, to describe that idea of length that you're going to have before you start the case. Like anything else that you plan in life, you have to uh, have a view of what you're going to achieve before you get started. And that's where the um, estimated working length comes from, is an idea of what kind of length you're going to have before you get started, which is oftentimes based on your preoperative radiograph and your historical knowledge of root anatomy and uh, root lengths, as well as a number of other variables. So uh, for the most part, having this information ahead of time is very helpful because you're able to uh, do a crown down in a safe manner and not end up going too long. Let me just actually go the other way around. It's too busy out here. So um, what you would do is if you have a digital radiography system, I use a DEXA system, but I'm sure any other system that you have would have the same feature of uh, using a measuring device to measure off of the x-ray. Of course, depending on the quality of the radiograph you have preoperatively, the accuracy of this length measurement is going to vary. And that's what's very important. You need to make sure that you or your assistant are able to get a parallel and fairly accurate without too much foreshortening for lengthening radiograph of a tooth before you get started. That's from where you're going to start to increase your accuracy off of the reading of the radiograph or measuring the radiograph. So uh, use the cusp and the root tip to measure, or you may, if you're going to plan on flattening the cusp tip, then make sure you account for that by a millimeter or so. And uh, remember that this is only an estimate, and you want to be on the safe side of the estimate and measure slightly short rather than long, because uh, being short is a far smaller problem than being long when it comes to working length. Uh, blowing through the apex and causing an apical perforation is going to have a lot of negative consequences, including um, bleeding and postoperative pain. So crown down technique requires that you measure the working length a little bit later, the actual working length. So having this estimated working length measured preoperatively from a digital radiograph will be extremely helpful. CBCTs are going to even give you perhaps even a slightly more accurate um, type of a uh, measurement because of the fact that you get less magnification and distortion. But um, whether it's a regular, let this truck pass by, whether it's a regular two-dimensional radiograph or if it is a three-dimensional radiograph, or even if it's a regular film, the quality of the preoperative radiograph is going to be very important where you measure it. You know, even on a film, you could use a perioprobe or a calibrated um, top of the paper to measure the estimated length. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to just share this answer with you. And uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Keep in mind that always you need to have a plan before you get into a tooth and having an estimated working length is the first part of that plan as to how deep you're trying to go and achieve your goal of reaching apex. Anyway, hope this was helpful to you. For real with Indo, I'm Ali Nese. See you in the next video.